Okay guys, welcome back to Cycling Every Day. Today we're going to talk about our new Thousand Helmet, which we picked up a few weeks ago. So the video is going to cover off the key features of the helmet and why we chose this brand and also why we decided to get one. Before we start though, I just wanted to say this video is not going to be about the pros and cons of a helmet in general. Personally, I aren't for or against helmets, and in the UK it is not a requirement to wear a helmet when riding a bicycle. So why a helmet? So in one of my previous videos on five essentials for going out on the bike, some of you were surprised that a helmet was not in my top five. Now the reason being is that I never really found a helmet that I actually wanted to wear. So I've had a few helmets in the past, but after wearing them, I just didn't really like the way that they looked or the style of them, so they just ended up being uh, left at home um, because I just didn't like wearing them. Okay, so why a thousand helmet? If I was gonna wear a helmet, it needed something I actually liked. So as I said, I've had a couple of helmets in the past that have been very functional in terms of a helmet, but I just don't like wearing them because I didn't like the way they looked. So after some research, I eventually found thousand. So the style of the helmet is what I was looking for compared to some of the ones I've had before. And uh, looking at the company as a whole, I, I actually like the way that they work, and I thought it was just you know really good company. Plus some of the functionality elements as well on the helmet. So if you want to know a bit more about Thousand though, and the company in general, I'm going to put a link in the description below so you can check that out for yourselves. Okay, so so the, our our helmet uh, in terms of functionality has a few things that I really really like about it. So firstly, the one-handed buckle, which is magnetic. So this is nice because you're able to put the helmet on and take the helmet off using just one hand. And it's quite simple to use. It just clicks on with a magnet. The helmet also has this kind of anti-theft guarantee as well. So near the back is a pop lock, which you can use to lock it up, lock it up to your bike rather than having to uh, use the straps, which is what I've done before. So putting the lock through the straps. Uh, so that's, I think personally, that's really clever how they've kind of designed that into the helmet. Uh, and it's also not noticeable when you're wearing it. It just looks like a, a little kind of um, branding on, on the side of the helmet. The vents are also good uh, for keeping your head cool, which is something I've missed as, you know, over winter I've been using my hat, woolly hat uh, up until buying this, which obviously has no ventilation. So uh, the other thing I like about the vents is that they don't look like there's something out of a sci-fi movie. And they all, they also kind of fit in with the style as well, which is what I was after. Um, we went with this GT version, uh, which is the kind of the colour of it, and also you had the stripes and you had the flags on on the back as well. Uh, but you know, there's a lot to choose from in terms of colours and finishes as well. So you can have a look on online and see what you think about those ones. And all the helmets come with this canvas bag, which you can use to keep it safe when you're not wearing it. So we always keep it in our tea bag, and then when we get to where we're going, and we uh, put the put the helmet away, we can save it from getting marked and scratched when it's in the bag. So some other tips: um, this this helmet costs eighty nine pounds. Now some people would say that that's actually quite expensive. Now I think the main thing before you buy one, as with any helmet, is it's definitely worth going to see it beforehand and try one on if you can. I was really keen to, to look at look at one of these before I bought it because of the, the, the cost of it. Um, you know, I was in two minds about it at first, but decided to go to the local dealer and have a look. And I also wanted to make sure that I was happy with it and also, also that I got the right size as well. So overall, you know, I'm really happy with the helmet and I haven't found anything that I'd change about it over the, uh, over the past week, uh, past few weeks. You know, I've worn it every time I've, I've been out in the Brompton. It fits well and I haven't found any issues in terms of fitting or, or anything like that. Hopefully this has gone over the key points and the features of the helmet that we think are you know, really useful to know if you were thinking about getting one. I also think the main point is that this to me is something that I actually want to wear because I like the look of it uh, and also like the functionality as well. So as always, if you've got any questions about the helmet or you haven't, uh, that I haven't discussed, or maybe you have have one of these helmets and you want to share your own experience of it, then please just drop a comment below. Uh, thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.